Tiger, we've seen you with Nike now for over 20 years out on the tour, ever since you, you turned pro. Your logo now is kind of synonymous with you and your brand and with Nike. Talk a little bit about how your relationship with Nike's evolved over the years. I've been there for a very long period of time. And when I first signed up with, with Nike, golf in particular, we're just in infancy stages. Right. And we know the brand and we know what it does for all the other sports, but what are you guys doing in golf? To so now that we're one of the pioneers and leaders in, in categories, to be able to create lines and apparel that you know, people love. It's just been amazing for me to be part of. Tiger, over the years, one of the things that we've seen evolve in apparel specifically is the fit. Mm. Um, you know, when you first out on tour, it was ill-fitting, long sleeves, yeah, yeah. baggy pants. Kind of talk about how the fit has evolved and then you know, how that's helped you perform a little bit better over the years. Well, it certainly has evolved uh, a lot from pleats to more straight, if not tapered pants. I remember some of the guys early on in my career had a little bit of the bell-bottom feel to it at, yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. Now everything's more more tight, more form-fitting, and I think that it's able to be form-fitting because it is stretching, it is moving. Mm -hmm. um, I can't imagine playing with the stuff we had early in my career that if it was more form-fit, I wouldn't be able to move. I wouldn't be able to turn, I wouldn't be able to rotate. And now the materials have gotten so much more advanced. Uh, they're moving with the athlete instead of against them. Then yeah, you can't go more form-fit. Absolutely, and you kind of touched on it there too. I feel like as the game's gotten kind of more athletic, the, the apparel and the, the footwear have kind of followed suit. Yeah, the game has changed. It has uh, gone from a more of a leisurely activity uh, to a true sport. People are training like it. They're treating it as such. They're bringing what they have done in the gym to the range and to the course. Mm -hmm. They're used to being in gym wear. And so for them to have something you know more like it when they play, uh, why not? I mean, every other athlete does. They go from the gym and they go right to the court where it's basically the same stuff. Why can't us golfers do the same? You've been with Nike for a long time now and, and, and you've worn your, your own signature line for a while. Um, what kind of input do you have on the design of the apparel that you wear out on the course? The design aspect, yes, pretty much everything. Uh, I'm very detail oriented. I want something that I'm going to feel free in. I, I want something that is not going to hinder my performance, if not make it better somehow. That's one of the reasons why we've gone through all the different iterations from <laughs> good old thick, heavy cotton to uh, dry fit material. So it's gone the full gamut because I've been there now for over 20 years. It's been exciting for me to be able to work with the team and create a product that's going to help not just me, but it's going to help all players. What are some of the non-negotiable kind of elements of the apparel that you look for? It's kind of technical aspects that you really like to see in your apparel on the course. One, light. Two, has to stretch. Yeah. Absolutely has to stretch. I struggle when I try and buy in dress shirts and to try and convince me that this is the way I get to go. Yeah. No, I'm used to having things that stretch and I enjoy being able to help create that. And over the years, the entire market's fallen what we've done. Well, Tiger, we know we've seen you in red on Sundays for, for a long time now, and everybody is, it recognizes that. What's the significance of red on Sunday to you? The red on Sunday started with my mom. She thought that you know red was my, my power color being a Capricorn. and like whatever, so I go out and win a junior event wearing red, okay. She says, that's the right color for you. I said, no, and so I wore blue the next time. I, I won okay. and say, see, I told you I can wear whatever I want. And then it ended up being, uh, I lost three straight events wearing blue and I've won red ever since. Nice. Last year at the Masters, we saw you bring back the mock neck mm. shirt uh, in all four rounds there. What was the story behind bringing that back? We haven't seen you in it in a while, but you brought it back for the Masters. I thought it'd be nice to go a little bit more retro and a little more old school. Well, old school for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's, you know, going back over a decade. And yeah. I won the Masters in it in 05 and, and won it again in, in 2019. Yeah, two yeah, pretty I, iconic pictures mm. came out of that one. Your, your putt on the, the playoff in 05 and then right. after you put it out in 19, it was really cool to see. I know one of the things I always notice on, on your shirts is that there's this kind of a seam that kind of goes down the back. Is there anything to that? Uh, is it just a design <laughs> thing or do you? It was, um, we, it was one of those oops moments. It was on a training aid that we used to use to see how if I was returning behind the golf ball or not. We're at a shoot and one of the designers you know, saw it and what is that? That looks really cool. Yeah. Was there anything to us? Yeah, well, it was more of a training aid you know, for my coach and for me to look at film, but it ended up integrating into the product. That was the hints of the full seam down the back. Obviously the equipment that you use on the course from a club and ball perspective is really important, but I think now with the tech and the, and the apparel and, and what people are wearing, that's actually part of your equipment. Well, my apparel is an extension of me and just like what I would think that my golf clubs are an extension of me. I want everything working in unison. I don't want to be working against any part of my game, whether it's from my clubs all the way to my apparel, and that 
including footwear, my glove, my lid, everything. I don't want to feel uncomfortable because when we're out there competing, we're in a very uncomfortable environment. Right? But the last thing you need to do is have something that's, that's nagging at you.